So your book's called Remember Who You Are. Yes. That's a great title, by the way. In the book, you say uh, that you've accepted who you are. Can you explain what that means? Yes. We, I, I noticed that in general, we have this thing. Sometimes we go against who we are. We want something, and we're so focused on what we want that we don't realize that that is not what we're supposed to do. Um, and it would be just so easy to, to, to relax for a second and, and really think and, and look inside and, and find who we really are and go with that and it will go much, much smoother mm -hmm. and uh, much easier. So I, I kept pushing away that side of me which is the classical music, that's what I mean in my book. Uh, I wanted to do pop, 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 uh, thought that once you do classical, you, that's all you do, but it's not true. You can bring them together, and, and that is who I am. I discovered after I, I uh, f actually finished my album mm -hmm. and almost finished writing the book, I discovered that, that I'm actually writing for people to remember who you are, and I was the one who didn't remember until the end of my project. Yeah. And that's when I had to open my files again and, and write about it. Sometimes that's the way it has to be done, so that uh, you're, yes. you're writing really to yourself. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, uh, this project is quite selfish. <laughs> <laughs> you take each song that you have and you tell a little bit of a story and then yes. but you have a lot to tell. Yes, yeah. and I, I wish I did, like I expanded more, which I can in the next print. I'll probably have the book like double in size. Yeah. Because <laughs> so you I haven't thought, told your whole story yet. You're still, well, you're no, still I more. took like, see the way um, I did it, I didn't write the songs first. Mm -hmm. I could never write music before. I was just writing as a child also. Uh, always liked to write about anything that came to mind. And um, I thought, how, how can I trick myself to write music? So what I did, I, I took each story that I wrote, transformed it into lyrics, and the melody just came after. And uh, after I finished all my songs, um, I thought, I could just put these stories into a book form and let people know where these songs are coming from. And it's actually a challenge to write the, the, the song because you're taking a whole story and you're condensing it into a small Yes, that's why probably <laughs> I had such a hard, and I still have a hard time writing a song from scratch uh -huh. because I like to talk I like to, <laughs> and I like to say a lot yes. and lyrics I, I feel like they, they put me in a box. So that's why I got to write first and then I pull out the essence and turn yeah. it into lyrics. And when did you first start performing? I was five. Yeah, I uh, see back in Romania, that's where I was born and mm -hmm. I grew up. Um, it was a little bit different than here. A teacher basically from, from grade one literally took me by the hand and, and enrolled me in the school for the arts. Mm -hmm. And I was ac actually accepted in the ballet. Uh, department and the music department. So your parents didn't have to pay for you to get into the school? No, that was in, mm -hmm. in the communist regime, that's what we had, the school for the arts, and they yeah. were at the time, because we were under, uh, uh, ruled by the, the communist president, um, everything was about him, of course, the songs and, you know, that's what the school for the arts was really for. I understand um, that in the book you, s you said that you made your costumes when you were, when you were young. When I was, yes, yeah. when I got out of the school for the arts, which was only until I was 14. Uh -huh. And then I went on my own and, um, you know, as a, as a solo artist and, yeah, I, I always liked to, to design my costumes and I still do. As a matter of fact, uh, for my concert next week uh, at the fashion show in Las Vegas, yes. I made my gown. It's actually not even finished. I still have to sew. So you still do that? Then? I love doing that. Oh, yeah, great. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And all the pictures in the the outfits that you wear in your in your photography are you wearing somebody else's or did you make those as well? Uh, the ones from the tour in Canada yeah. for the mm -hmm. uh, no, those were clothes that I had to get. Yeah, no, it would have been a bit challenging for me to do that because I had two to three a week wow. for almost four months for my wedding. I, I got a very cheap wedding gown just because I liked the fabric and I tore it all apart and I did it my own style. <laughs> so I like that uh, to be uh, creative that way. Family in Romania, mother and father, uh, mm -hmm. very supportive of you? Yes, my parents were were the reason why I did this because they were 100% supportive. Mm -hmm. um, to the point where I cut my mother's drapes and she didn't get upset because I made a dress for stage. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't get mad about that, huh? She didn't get mad. <laughs> she was pretty shocked, but she didn't get mad. And um, uh, they were very, very supportive. My, f my father passed away years ago. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, yes, and my mom is still extremely supportive. And Do you still keep in contact with her? Oh, of course. Character, I think I'm like my dad. Um, she does not sing though. She uh -huh. she's actually tone deaf, and oh. but she can tell quality in music. It's very strange. You think you got the musical ability from from, from my your dad? Father's yeah, he used to sing. And you have two other uh, siblings? Yes, I have a sister and a brother. What do they do? My sister is a singer too. She lives in Cyprus, uh -huh. and uh, my brother he used to play the drums, but now he's in Italy. He works. That'll lead us into your husband. How did you two meet, Pino? We met, uh, again, when I was kind of forced to give up singing, I had to find a job and I went to college, became personal trainer and I met him at the gym, he actually gave me a job and uh, we didn't really like each other before about a year, mm -hmm. actually I quit the job uh, months later and we didn't see each other for almost eight months. And, uh, so is he running everything, is he running the show behind the scenes while you do? Stand out yes, front and do yes, the it, it, it is. And yes, it is a family yeah. business. <laughs> he is a hundred percent behind me. Uh -huh. Who else? Who, who, when when someone believes in you so much, a hundred percent to the point where he doesn't care where you want to go. Eli, okay, let's go. What is your daughter's name? Elisa. How does um, how does she like what you do? She she loves what I do, and she brags to everybody. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like to tour? do things like this and perform while, while trying to raise her? It's very natural. Mm -hmm. She was involved in whatever, everything that we did ever since she was born. Uh, to her, that's why she was here talking to me while talking to you, because to her it's so normal. This is my life, she thinks too, right? Um, so I try to keep her involved as much as I can in everything that I do. I don't want to put her with babysitters and she comes with us everywhere. Very nice to meet you. And it's Thank Angelica, you so much, correct? Angelica, yes. Yeah, everybody wants to see Angelica. I want to make sure that they understand it's Angelica. Angelica, yes. Very nice to meet you and good luck and God bless you, okay? Thank you, you too.